Goedemiddag, welkom in de Bichtstoel. Bonjour. Bienvenue au Confessionnel. Qu'avez-vous vu cet après-midi Alors, c'est un concert avec euh, pas mal de musiques de cultures différentes dans le cadre du no Nourou. Le Nourou, c'est la fête de Nouvelle An Perse. Est-ce que vous avez ressenti cette, euh, fest une festivité dans, dans une des parties Oui, j'ai entendu Monsieur Bolia. Oui, j'ai un. Un colocataire qui, qui est originaire d'Afghanistan, il était là aujourd'hui aussi. Et donc c'était intéressant de voir un peu aussi son ressenti et de voir aussi un peu comment lui voyait les autres cultures autour de, de l'Afghanistan. What did you see today? I saw uh, four performances uh, from different uh, artists. They were all originating from uh, Asia, of course different parts of Asia. I think I believe uh, there was uh, an artist from Kyrgyzstan, probably Uzbekistan as well. Uh, there was Humayusaki, which was the the last one from Afghanistan. But yeah, they were all representing their own cultures from uh, from Asia. There is a lot of different instruments that we don't usually see or hear. Are these instruments that you um, already heard somewhere? No, I mean I don't really recall having heard them. I mean I often heard oud which is this arabic uh, more arabic kind of guitar cette édition du clara festival veut explorer la différence entre écouter et entendre est-ce qu'il y a des moments où vous avez l'impression que vous avez plus écouté ou plus entendu euh, ici j'ai plus écouté c'est se laisser transporter par la musique dans, dans un sens c'est une musique que j'ai pas l'habitude d'écouter donc c'est intéressant And then I listen more than I just hear. Because I mean, of course, I hear all the time. Everybody hears all the time because there is just a noise, let's say, that you hear. But, <laughs> but listen is like uh, mindful listening. Their voices had a very uh, spiritual effect on me. Uh, when they were performing, I found myself closing my eyes and just uh, really listening to what they were uh, singing uh, rather than uh, hearing it. And so it really connected deeply with me. I really enjoyed the spiritual experience that they had in their uh, in their singing. It was almost uh, meditative for me. I feel more music than listen or hear, I think. Somehow I was like having this kick of energy and, and uh, attention. Is it the kind of music that you're used to listen to? I have heard it before. I have a little bit of a Indian song. I had never heard uh, such music before. Although variations of this music may be here and there in some movies uh, and maybe some TV shows or, or some folk songs. But the uh, Afghan players, uh, Homa Yusaki, uh, that music is very familiar uh, to me because Uh, I myself uh, listen to a lot of Indian classical music yeah. uh, and uh, the origins of this music are somewhere in Persia, Afghanistan. Um, so that's uh, very familiar and I, I really enjoyed uh, having this, uh, to, uh, to listen to this performance in, in Europe, which seldom happens. Is the setting different here than it is in, in other countries? Uh, parts of the world? Uh, very much so indeed. In the East it's very much appreciated if the audience uh, claps or yeah, says things like bravo for example in, in Europe um, more openly during the concert uh, as well. Uh, but here uh, you see that the, there is a difference that the audience will wait for the artist to finish their entire performance and then they show their appreciation. It's a small difference that I observe. Yes I think here I will see it more academic and I think that in their context it might be more as a celebration sometimes people tend to dance when they hear, listen to this type of music I personally enjoyed all the parts it was very dynamic I found it very crafty thank you for your Thank you. thank you super merci thanks bye bye